Welcome ladies and gentlemen to this week's edition of the Black and Gold Report, a show all about UNC Pembroke Athletics presented by Pepsi. I'm Jenna Davidson and today on the show we're going to be talking basketball with head men's basketball coach Ben Miller and on the second half of the show we're going to be catching up with head softball coach Brittany Bennett. But first we're joined by Coach Miller. Coach, welcome to the show. Thanks Jenna. Well, we had you on the show a few weeks ago, but you've had a lot go on since then. Your men's basketball team is 23-4 and four, uh, and tied with Jerry Augusta for first in the PBC East with a 14-4 and four record in league play. Talk about the progression of your team over the last couple of weeks as we inch closer to postseason play. Well, we've shot the ball a little better the last few games. That's kind of nice. Um, one good thing, I guess, even earlier on when we weren't shooting it as well, our defense was still good enough to keep us in games and give us a chance. But it's always more fun when the ball goes in a basket and uh, makes life a little bit easier. So I think guys are playing with a lot of confidence and a lot of continuity right now. Well, fans of your team have seen quite a bit of offense from the Braves over the last couple of games. You reached the century mark for the first time this season with a 105-91 win at Flagler and then set an Alumni Arena record with a 115-92 victory at Armstrong State on Saturday. You gave up more points than you probably would have liked to in those wins, but your offense is starting is your offense starting to peak at the right time? I hope so. I, I do think the guys are sharing the ball and we've had a lot of assists both those games. So that's always a good sign of guys making the extra pass and just executing what we're trying to do as a team. And we got an unselfish bunch and you know that's always fun to see that. Well the win at Armstrong State on Saturday put the lid on a pretty successful road schedule for you. The Braves are now nine and three away from Pembroke this year, the most wins for the program in Peach Belt Conference uh, in the Peach Belt Conference era. What kind of accomplishment is it for for this team to have fared so well on the road? Well, I think those road trips are an opportunity for uh, a lot of team bonding. You know, when you get on the bus and you know we got a goofy bunch. They like to you know, clown around and sing songs, and you know we watch the movies. But you know, when it's time for business and time to get on the court, they're they're focused and they're very uh, together. They do care about each other. And I think you have to have a group of guys that, you know, have each other's back, you know, when you're on the road and, you know, in hostile gyms and, you know, everything could be going against you. You really got to hunker down and um, rely on each other. And they've done a great job of that this year. Well, the win over the Pirates also gave your program its most overall victory since joining the NCAA Division II ranks prior to the 92-93 season. And the win, um, if you win over Francis Marion on Wednesday, it will give your club a school record for Peach Belt Conference victories. How much fun has it been this season for you? And are you seeing it in the play of your guys on the court as well? Yeah. It's probably, I would say, the most fun I've ever had in coaching. Um, even looking back at you know, fun teams we had at Kansas and going to the Final Four and Missouri State teams and some great teams we've had here. But I've never had this much fun and I can't exactly explain why other than just the, the guys on our team. Uh, we got a great group of seniors, um, not just the six guys that are playing, but also Courtney Pulley, who's used up his eligibility, but is helping us out as a uh, student assistant and Mason Mullins. So there's really eight seniors. And uh, when you have that kind of leadership, and um, guys have that familiarity with each other. It's, uh, it's been a great uh, combination and great chemistry. Well, let's talk about some individuals for you now. Junior Brandon Winford became the 31st member of UNCP's 1,000 point <clears throat> club with 22 point outing on Saturday. He's the third player on, the, uh, on your current roster to reach that milestone this year. And this, team, or, and this team is the first team in 24 years to feature three 1,000 point scorers. Mm -hmm. Is that a first for you as a coach? And how awesome is it for you uh, when your guys get superlatives like that? Um, it might be. I'd have to check with Todd and find out. Uh, maybe as an assistant coach, we, we may have had a team at Kansas that had three thousand point scores but this is definitely the first time here and um, you know one nice thing is that we do have really good balance um, amongst our team I think we might have five guys in double figures and uh, that really helps where teams can't key or just focus on taking out one guy you know for us if one guy's having an off night generally somebody else is going to step up um, and get some baskets for us when we need them 
Well, over the last six games, Junior Quilmain Rose is averaging 14.7 points, 9.5 rebounds, and 5.7 assists. He's put together four double-doubles during that stretch and rec recorded the program's first triple-double in 24 years with 13 points, 12 rebounds, and 11 assists in an outing at home and for a home win over Armstrong State. Talk about the player that Quilmain has developed into this season. Well, beyond just the statistics, I think you just look at his heart and his toughness. He sets the tone for our team defense, the way he guards the ball and uh, the energy he brings to the floor. But uh, he contributes in so many different ways. You know, I think in recruiting, when you evaluate guards, you always look at the rebound statistics. Because, you know, it's not generally you would, something you'd always look at for a guard, but I think it shows a lot of toughness for a, a smaller guy like Quilmain to stick his nose in there and go get rebounds amongst the big guys. And um, I think he's one of the maybe top 11 or 12 in the league in rebounds for, from the guard position, which is really unusual. But he contributes in so many ways. And the most impressive thing I think this year has been the development of his leadership as well. All right, well, we're gonna take our first commercial break. And when we come back, we're gonna continue talking to head men's basketball coach, Ben Miller, so stay tuned. <laughs> 